Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading. I have a full house today. I have Tess snoring, I have Sabre lying by my feet and I also have Fluffy the cat having a snooze in a corner of the room for some reason. When it's hot she likes to sleep in a corner and uh, it is hot today and uh, so uh, today I am surrounded by my furry friends and of course the dog barking outside. So I hope you can hear me over all the snoring and the barking. I am going to be doing a reading today similar to the reading that I did on Prince Harry's feelings towards Camilla as Queen. I'm going to be doing this one today on Prince William's feelings. There has been a press release saying that he is supportive of Camilla as Queen diplomatic uh, press release of course he has to come out with uh, that kind of language and endorse the Queen's decision and uh, it's very important for him to be seen to be on side at this point and uh, he's done the right thing in my opinion and I'm sure most of you will agree with that. But there was an interesting throwaway comment there about the huge family rows in the early years of Prince Charles's second marriage. So it wasn't always easy. I'm sure that it still isn't easy. There are times when it's very difficult indeed, always when you're trying to blend a family as the modern term is. Um, so five card reading for Prince William using just the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot, which is a very standard Rider Waite deck, to see how he really feels about Camilla, how he felt when he heard the news that the Queen um, had uh, decided to endorse this very publicly. I'm sure it came as no surprise to him. How he really feels about Camilla as Queen and uh, whatever the cards want to tell us about those rows. Uh, which are were very much kept behind the scenes, obviously. Perhaps he'll be coming out in Prince Harry's book, but uh, maybe Prince William is trying to take the edge off that by actually going out there and saying there were rows. Of course there were rows. They wouldn't be human if there weren't rows in those kinds of circumstances. So let's see, five card reading, and of course, as always, the underlying reading as well. And we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, and that is quite interesting because Prince William, of course, is a Knight of Cups, and it's in the reverse, and that is quite an emotionally upset knight. He's not thrilled about this. He has been through emotional turmoil because of Camilla, obviously, and uh, Camilla's uh, impact on his life as a, as a young man growing up, impact on his mother's life, of course, and uh, more barking. Sorry about this busy time of day for barking. But he's, he has been through emotional term, turmoil very clearly from the Knight of Cups in reverse. And I think if he could have things differently, he would have things differently. It was a very pragmatic statement. It was needed. He needed to come out and say something. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, of course, have been dead quiet about this, as they have been quiet about the Queen's Jubilee. They haven't come out and publicly congratulated her on her 70 years of service been very very silent and I'm going to be doing a reading on that silence in the next reading that I do Megan's silence anyway this is about Prince William and Camilla upset underlying energy knight of cups self-explanatory really and uh, the heart of the matter is the king of swords and I'm seeing this coming out over and over and over in these royal readings Prince Charles comes out as the king of swords uh, quite often nowadays Prince William now is coming out as the king of swords in this reading he is going to be shrewd about this. He's going to be wise. He is not going to be thinking about it from an emotional place. He's been there. He's done that with his Knight of Cups in reverse. And now he is going to be about strategy. He is going to be about positioning himself correctly, about being seen to be wise, clear-headed, level-headed, cool, calm and collected. That is the King of Swords when he's in the upright position. So uh, however he may feel prior Privately, uh, he is going to come across in public as very much the mature man, the wise man, the strategic thinker. And I think it's a very, very smart thing to do. And the king of swords of all the kings is the smart king, the intelligent king, the one who sees ahead 
and plans accordingly. So how did Prince William feel when the news actually broke? As I say, I'm sure it wasn't a surprise. I'm sure he was forewarned, but wow, <laughs> let's take that back. Nine of swords, nine of swords, that last card probably in the tarot deck that I would have expected to see there. It came as something that was disturbing to him. It actually did. I wouldn't have thought that, but it was for him difficult. He had sleepless nights about it. He was stressed about it. He was worried about it. And uh, that is a very, very surprising. So the pain hasn't gone away. The anguish hasn't gone away from the situation. All, uh, albeit that uh, Camilla has been in his life officially for decades now and unofficially since the start of his life. Poor boy, poor man. Uh, but yeah, you can see that card. It's a Richard card. It's a, it really is a card of anguish. So I'm very surprised to see that. So let's, uh, let's uh, not predict things in this reading. How does he feel about Camilla as queen? How does he feel towards her as taking that role? Page of Pentacles in reverse. It is... Uh, not an angry card it has a slight impatience about it the page of pentacles in reverse it's a journey it's a start that is a false start a misstep the page of pentacles is about learning lessons it was about starting new journeys being studious being diligent being patient uh, really plodding along uh, he doesn't feel that this is right at that level he doesn't feel that it started off right this journey that camilla is on uh, he feels that it started off all wrong started off on the wrong foot page of pentacles underline um in the reverse and it yeah it's it's a negative card it is a negative card he doesn't uh think highly of her uh, he's not going to think highly of her as queen. He doesn't uh, really see her in the role. He doesn't think that she has what it takes to be queen because the Page of Pentacles is, as I say, about learning and mastering something, starting off as a junior and working their way up. He doesn't see it. So he does not have a high opinion of her and he really was stressed by this announcement, however much he may have been expecting it. Maybe he wasn't expecting it. Maybe Prince Charles just went to the Queen and said, come on now, uh, make this announcement and she did because she seems to be wanting to get these kinds of things out of the way and it didn't consult him if i've got time at the end i might ask that question but let's see if the family rows uh, what do the cards want to tell us about that the huge family rows the hermit um well harry 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 is the hermit, of course, the Virgo, major arcana for Virgo. Harry might have provoked these rows. Harry might have been the one uh, that really was out of control, wild, rebellious, angry, and caused a lot of trouble in the household with Camilla, with Charles. And uh, hermit is also about counselling. It is about going to see experts. Maybe, maybe there was uh, outside assistance from therapists, counsellors, wise people came in to try and help or they went individually out to see therapists, to see people who could help them adjust and to deal with the terrible stress of the situation. So that's interesting, but Harry is looming large in there in that card for me uh, as being the one that these fights were really about or caused the fights or really handled them very badly slamming doors going to his room sulking hermit is about isolating yourself not wanting to join in things wanting to be left alone um teens both of the boys were of course very difficult um years for them to be um calm and level-headed and rational with all those raging hormones and I uh, really needed their own mother around and she was lost and gone. So difficult energy, understandably. How is this relationship going to go? How is Prince William going to deal with Camilla as queen? How is she going to deal with him? What are they going to do? Uh, it's not going to go well. <laughs> this is a much worse reading than I thought it was going to be with the Ten of Cups in reverse. And it's not all going to be happy families. And I think we are going to see that quite honestly. I think Prince William is going to keep his distance. The King of Swords is a very cool character. He does not wear his heart on his sleeve. He really is very unemotional, very calculating, and I think he's going to keep his family as far away as possible, 
out of this situation. I don't think he thinks it's the right thing. I really don't think he thinks it's the right thing for his family, his personal family, his close family, uh, possibly even for the country with that page of pentacles in reverse. So the endorsement came. It wasn't a, um, a, a very warm and enthusiastic endorsement he said the right things i think he did what he had to do but as far as he is concerned there is a lot of trauma still here in this situation he is not going to make nice with camilla and uh, make life easy for her and be seen out and about in public with her as catherine has just been seen of course catherine always the one who was used by the royal family to put on this happy united front, the peacemaker, the one who can be counted on not to rock the boat, not to react in public, not to show her true feelings in public. Whatever she thinks in private, she does not show it in public. And so this, as I say, is a very surprising reading. Not at all what I was expecting, but of course, Prince William is a water sign, a Cancerian man. He's not going to forgive and forget. His mum was the most important person to him in his world. Um, of course, still, uh, even though he's married, has children, she still, I'm sure, has a very um, important place in his heart. And well, Camilla has her work cut out, really, with Prince William. And I don't think looking at these cards will ever really make headway in getting a true, warm relationship with him. So, wow, heavy, heavy stuff. I wasn't expecting it. And I uh, hope you heard it over the snoring. She's uh, really snoring very loudly right now. But anyway, that's the reading. I think we'll leave it there today and I'll get on with the next one.